Hey again guys and welcome back. I was able to sneak in one last 2019 mailbag because of Canada Post's hard work. So let's get started. First one up here is this one. A uh, six times fusible holder, 16 cents US. Ordered on November 21st, got it December 13th, $2.76. Oh, all right, let's take a closer look at these guys. So what these things are, are not fuse holders, but fuse pullers. So you've got one side here for automotive style blade fuses, and one side here for the glass tubular style. So the glass tubular style are kind of like this here. And I guess the goal is to get in underneath that and tug upwards so then you can grab it and it seems to work just fine for that. Let's see about tighter spots. Yep, not bad. Yeah, there we go. So that that works. To test the other side though, being an automotive guy, you figure I'd have tons of fuses kicking around, but I don't. I actually had to go outside in minus whatever it is, 18 right now. I think minus 18 Celsius and go grab a fuse and demonstrate in this fuse holder. Now, glass fuses like this, they're a little tricky to get into, but not too bad. These fuses, however, so these are mini fuses, these guys here, and um, you can see that it's pretty easy to pull out by hand. However, the micro fuses, they have the, the legs recessed in like that. And so actually the one that goes into this holder actually will end up flush here. And with this tool, you would put it in like this and then pull it out. This tool might not actually work for that because I think, you see, you need to get quite deep on there. It grabs that little lip and now it allows you to pull it out. But it did work for these mini fuses. So when I went outside to grab a fuse out of my, uh, out of my car, I actually used, I brought one of these tools outside with me. So yeah, it just grips kind of like that and then you pull and out the fuse comes so yeah I figured I would uh, I would get some they're not very expensive it was two bucks for 250 for six don't know why six but um, hey we're worth a shot and already if it um, gets me out of a bind like that then I'll just keep on using them next one up is this one we've got electronics times one sort of relevant to the channel name $1.31 uh, bought it November 11th, got it December 13th. Electronics times one indeed. So what this thing is, it's actually a temperature and humidity sensor called the DHT-11. Yeah, DHT11. It says on the back here, 3.3 to 5.5 volts, U1 and U2, uh, humidity and temperature, and the accuracy. So basically the same thing that the eBay listing says, but a lot of um, the Arduino-y type channels uh, play with these, so I figured I'd give it a shot too. I also want to get into sort of... Um, Maybe working with the, um, what are those, the NRF 24LO1s? And uh, I figure uh, logging temperature and humidity might be an interesting project to do. So I got one of these. Cost a dollar thirty Canadian, so a dollar American. But there's nothing much to see here, so I'm going to give this a shot. It's uh, plus or minus two degrees Celsius and plus or minus 5% on the humidity. So it's not very accurate, but um, I didn't want to go up to the next level, the most, the more expensive ones, because uh, the price climbs kind of exponentially. And I think this will be just fine for tinkering. I just need to get some data from somewhere and uh, play with that um, NRF 24 LO1 module. So yeah. Not too much to see here, we can go on to the next one. 
Next one up, we have these guys, which is one times LED, one US dollar value. Actually, that's probably accurate. Yeah, 131 Canadian, so that's about a dollar American. November 21st to December 15th. Not too bad on these. Some of these shipping times are, are reasonable. Uh, some are less so. Lee Shop. Wow, that's a... Uh, they're cutting these with a super dull knife. Interesting. And, yeah... LEDs indeed. Nothing too special on these, but these are 5mm uh, green LEDs. Should be a hundred of these in here. And uh, we should power these up to see what they look like, but it's because I have some red LEDs. Wanted to get some greens as well. So for testing purposes, I have my little um, benchtop power supply thing. Uh, some of you asked me about this. It is the D3806. If you want to see a review of this, because I've been using this for a, over a year now, maybe maybe two years? I don't know, for a while. Uh, if you want to see a review of this thing, let me know in the comments below if it's worth my time to make one. Or if you guys are just going to buy it anyways, then I guess there's really no point. But, but let me know what you think about this thing. So I have it set to 5 volts. And you might be thinking that's way too high for a humble 5mm LED. And you'd be right. So I also have it set to 20 milliamp um, current limiting. So if I have this on the voltage screen, it'll stop pumping voltage uh, once we reach that 20 um, milliamp threshold. So we'll be able to see the voltage drop at 28 or at 20 milliamps ish. So this is not going to be anything spectacular. I'm going to tell you now. It's probably going to be more like an indicator LED. Um, but I like these sort of diffused colored ones. I prefer the diffused ones to the um, to the clear ones, and then they color when you turn it on. So I'm going to just turn this on here. Okay, there we go. So 20 milliamps, we are dropping 2.05 uh, volts. Yeah, we're current limiting at about 21 milliamps. It's actually fairly dim, so I think this is the older technology LEDs. Um, it looks dim on the camera, but it's also kind of dim in person too. So yeah, nothing to write home about. It's just, it's a nice compliment to the uh, red LEDs I got in, um, geez, I don't know, three, four mil bags ago. Maybe I'll link it up here. Next one up is this one, a pretty flat package. Uh, expansion board module worth uh, one penny. November 21st to December 16th. Um, that's actually not bad. About a month. $4.29. That's a very expensive expansion board module. Well, it's like an Arduino-y type thing. Let's take a closer look. Expansion board module indeed. Arduino. It is not. So this is expensive. I kind of figured it was one of those 80 mega, uh, the um, Arduino Mega clone things, but it is not. I'm going to read this out. So STM32 F103. See? Not sure. Very small. So this is actually a 32-bit um, ST microcontroller. Um, so these guys should be quite interesting. They have a lot of power for being on such a tiny board. And I could be mistaken on this, but there are a few YouTubers I watch that have um, mentioned the uh, STM32. And it's cool that it's in a little Arduino-y type package here. So you can easily breadboard with it. It's got a USB micro here, I believe. Everything can be done with the Arduino IDE, which will be very interesting. Comes with a few uh, pin headers here to uh, to solder on. Um, I'm just curious as to, uh, I don't even know what I would need this extra power for, but um, curious to see what we can do with uh, more processing power. And uh, so if this thing can do, I guess, complicated things, have more interrupts, or I'm not, I'm, I'm not even sure why these things are better. Um, 
but it'd be interesting to put it through its paces and see what it's capable of. Very interesting board. I just figured it's better to have it in stock and uh, play with it when the whim arises rather than uh, order it when I feel like playing with it and then, you know, having to wait a month. But yeah, I think this thing will be pretty awesome. Let me know what you think I should do with it in the comments below. And last, but hopefully not least, uh, this one here, one times expansion board module. Okay. Um, five cents. Very cheap. And this one here arrived today, December 20th. Um, the day I think my Patreons will be watching this on December 20th. For the rest of you, if you want early access, you got to get on Patreon. $4.39 and in a nice green holiday marker. Yep, okay, they do look like expansion board modules. Let's take a look at what's inside. There we go. So these are these little uh, joysticky type things, and I think they have two axes, yeah, and a button. I don't know if you can hear that in the mic. Yeah, I bought five of these. As you can tell, they were not very expensive. They were under a buck each. I think if you buy them individually, they're a dollar thirty uh, Canadian. But all four or all five of them were only four forty. But yeah, I have actually one of these in a um, sensor kit I got, or do we know sensor kit? But if you want to control, like do do a twin stick type thing, you can't really. You only have one. So I've got five now, and so the little RC projects that I kind of want to do this winter, I'll be well equipped for it now. It's quite interesting how it does that um, the push button. It just has the uh, axis here, probably, I think this is the uh, Y axis. Not sure, anyways, I think this is the Y axis. And it sticks out onto a micro switch and you just press that micro switch down. Very interesting. But yeah, these things are not the most precise. They're not really made for um, like hobby grade RC stuff or anything, but I think we can have some fun, maybe robotic arm or something like that. Either way, should be something interesting. Basically, all it is is uh, two potentiometers. You can see them here, one and two. So when I move it this way, you can see the potentiometer moves accordingly. And same thing this way. There we go. So there'll probably be a uh, input, a ground, and then... Um, we need one, at least one wire for the switch and one wire for each. So that makes the five connections. And sure enough, that's what we have here. We have ground, five volt, um, variable resistance X, variable resistance Y, and the switch. Super simple modules. They even have holes drilled into them so you can mount them to stuff and pin headers for easy prototyping. I mean, what more could you want? And all of this stuff makes up today's holiday edition mailbag. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much to my patrons who help support this channel. The fact that even even a dollar, like a dollar doesn't change my life, but the fact that you feel strongly enough that you want to give it to me, that to me means the world because it means that you are that much more invested in the content I make. You're that much happier to comment on it. So thank you so much for your support to my Patreons and to my viewers who can uh, share and show this to their friends. Thank you guys too. And to everybody, whatever holiday you're celebrating this month or next month or the month after, hopefully you have a happy time with your family. Thanks again for watching.